Here, I've created a simple animation with three drawings, a circle, a triangle, and a square separated by a few blank frames. Shift select all the drawings between the circle and the triangle and use the automatic in-betweener. Do the same thing between the triangle and the square. Right click and select Expose in X Sheet. Delete the first column and deactivate the onion skins. Scroll through your animation to see if it's suitable. From the Windows menu, select Schematic and enlarge the window view. Add a peg by clicking on the peg icon. Drag from the output of the peg to the input of column 1. Select the peg and click on the path icon. Arrange these as shown. With the path selected in the schematic, choose the brush tool and draw a new path. Click the Yes button to accept the new path. The column only appears to align with the beginning of the path because we drew it directly in the center of the drawing. Had our animation been drawn offset from that center, we wouldn't have such a good result. However, since the peg is perfectly aligned to the beginning of the path, all we have to do to fix this is to select column 1 in the schematic and using the Level Select tool, align the center of the circle with the first point of the path. We can also use the Scale option to scale down the entire column 1 animation. Having the peg selected in the schematic, we can now use the Position option to set keyframes for each animation morph as it moves along the path. Take a look at the result by scrolling through the frames in the X sheet. Then click the loop icon in the playback controls to see the animation as a cycle. To get a smoother overall result, we can reframe our animation on twos. Readjusting the morph positions along the path by clicking on the appropriate frame in the X sheet and moving its position. Press the loop icon in the playback controls to watch this new animation. Reopen the schematic view from the Windows menu. Select column 1 and choose a frame in the animation where you want to add either a scale or rotation event. Select the type of option you want from the Level Edit Tools Options menu. Rotate this keyframe as shown. Click on another cell and do the same thing. Click on another cell in column 1 and choose Scale, adjusting its scale. Adjust the scale back down on the last frame of the animation. Click the loop icon in the playback controls to see the result. By the simple addition of a peg in the schematic view, we've allowed two dimensions of animation to take place, movement along this path and simultaneous scaling and rotation of the whole animation.